Hello everyone. Today's experiment I'm super excited about and you're going to laugh whenever I tell you why. It's because I realized today that you can buy neon food coloring. So I'm about to try it and see if it is as cool as I hope that it is. This experiment is called dancing rice so you will obviously need rice. You will need water, a clear jar or container baking soda, white vinegar, and you don't have to use food coloring, but once I found out there was neon food coloring, I said absolutely we are using it. So, I've already filled up my jar of water about uh, three-fourths of the way. Here comes the food coloring. Oh, that's a very strong blue. Hello. That looks super cool. Just going down. I'm going to swirl that up just a little bit so that it starts to mix. Oh, nice. I'm going to like that. Then you need one tablespoon of baking soda. And dump it in. And then we are going to stir it up. You want to make sure that once you mix it up that none of the baking soda settles and that you've actually mixed it all the way up. Mix it just a little bit more. Okay. Now, we are going to put in a fourth of a cup of rice. That looked cool even going down. Now, we're going to take our vinegar, and you can do this gradually, or you can just pour it in like I'm about to do. <gasps> Don't explode! <laughs> Poured it in too fast. So the reason why it does this is because baking soda and vinegar... Um, the chemicals that are in them will make everything fizz, kind of like with our volcanoes and stuff like that that we have made. So something similar to what we have been doing, but this will continue happening because of the CO2 that is produced with these two ingredients, just like how you see the rice going. It's called dancing rice. It's pretty cool, and you probably have all the ingredients at your house. Um, that is your experiment for today. Make sure that you come back tomorrow for our next round of egg roulette. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.